Yo guys, what is up? This is Nick. We are back, and it is time to break down the NFL slate. Uh, I started recording this, and then I, I realized I needed to check it. I needed to check a couple of playoff scenarios. So just in case there's any more that pop up, we do have the playoff machine here, good to go. Um, just to make sure, I just want to make sure I knew who had nothing to play for and who had something to play for. Um, there was the Cowboy, the Eagles. I didn't think the Eagles could get overtaken by Minnesota, and I was right. And then I, I thought Minnesota was locked into the first round by which they are. There's no scenario where they can get knocked out. Those were the kind of the two big ones that I was just checking to make sure. And so let's get into this. So starting at quarterback, Big Ben out, Goff out, and Alex Smith out. So Mahomes, Mannion, and Landry will start. Really don't have interest in any of them. Um, for me, I'm going to be paying for either Cam Newton, Russell Wilson, or Tom Brady. The three guys, they've got something to play for. Brady has to win, get home field advantage throughout the AFC playoffs. Cam's got to win. They still have a chance to get in as the uh, winner of the AFC South, or the NFC South. They still have a chance to get in as the winner and get, uh, believe... Hold on. Let me do this. So if the Saints win... Okay, so if the Panthers... Hold on. Do is Panthers win and the Saints lose, then there you go. And that okay, so they actually the Panthers have a chance to get all the way up to the second seed, so that's kind of a big deal. They they need to win because then if Minnesota loses to Chicago, uh, if LA hold on, let's do this one more for the playoff machine for the Rams. So if the Rams win, then the rain okay. So they would need the Rams and the Vikings to lose, and then the Panthers would grab the number two seed, which. I guess this is not of the realm of possibility. But my question is, so if other teams win here, does that screw does that screw them up? Cuz are they I don't know if they're mathematically eliminated. Like I'm just going to do the teams that should win. Titans Titans should win. I'm assuming the Jags will. I don't know if the Jags are even interested in playing that game. Bills, Ravens, and Lions. Okay, so that doesn't affect us at all. Okay, so they're not locked in. The Vikings and the Rams still need to win, kind of, but I guess they're just banking on the fact that the other team, like, I guess the Rams are just banking on the fact that the Vikings don't lose, too. So, okay, so that's interesting. So... The Falcons win. Okay, so it, it's it, that's that's kind of interesting. I didn't actually know the Panthers could get all the way up to the second seed. I thought they were looking at like the fourth seed, but they can get all the way up to the second seed. Granted, it takes a lot, but I still like Cam Newton. Threw up kind of a dud last week, but still was able to put up sixteen point six. Um, he has that rushing floor. They've been rushing him a lot, and so I do like Cam Newton this week against the. Uh, against the Falcons, but I think my favorite, I'm going to go to Russell Wilson. They have to win. They have zero choice but to win this game. They got to win it. And so I'll probably go here. Uh, not as safe of a rushing floor as Cam, but a little bit better of a passing floor. I mean, this game against Dallas was just weird. If he does this two week, three weeks in a row, I mean, I'll just take my loss and we'll be done with it. But Russell Wilson, my favorite option, but you can also look at Phillip Rivers also has to win. Uh, there will be a common theme in this. It'll be either be have to win or opportunity because people are sitting or opportunity because it's the last game of the year. Kirk Cousins, last game in Washington potentially. Interest in him. Matt Ryan has to win. Interested there. Jacoby Brissett, uh, I believe there's a report that comes out came out that said he wants to prove that he belongs in the league. And so he wants to uh, uh, go out and show it this weekend. Put up 23.52 against Houston. Uh, which would be plenty, uh, closing, it'd be about 4x, a little bit over 4, 4x for him. Um, other than that, I have a little interest in Mariota, but not a whole lot. A little interest in Eli, maybe his last game in New York, so a little bit of interest there. Um, and then interest in the cheap guys, Landry, Landry Jones, Patrick Mahomes, and uh, uh, Sean Mannion. Probably in that order, it's probably Landry, Mahomes, uh and then Mannion, but let's move on to running back. Starting at the top, Bell out, Gurley out. Um, I think, I don't really know what happened to James Conner. I think he's just, did he get hurt? Like, I can't even look him up. He's not even, like, in the player pool. So I don't know what happened to James Conner. I must have missed something with him. 
Um, I guess he's probably out. I guess we can Google it. Hold on, let me just look it up. I don't know how I missed James Conner. What, what, what happened to him? James Conner. Okay, it's not even going to give me... Okay, news. What's the news on... Okay. Okay, he had knee surgery. Okay, I'm just stupid. I, I don't know how I missed that, but I guess I missed it. Uh, and so he's out. So that creates interesting in the Steelers. But we'll talk top end first. My injuries are Zeke, who needs 120 yards to get to 1,000. And he already said he wants to get to 1,000. So I think he's pretty much a lock to get 120 yards this game. They're going to feed him. Philly's got absolutely nothing to play for. They are the number one seed. Um, it really doesn't matter what happens. They are the number one seed in the NFC. Uh, and then it's Alvin Kamara, Mark Ingram, the two running backs for New Orleans. They've got a win. They should feed him. Peyton came out today and talked about Drew Brees and how he doesn't care about stats. So they're going to pound the rock and they're going to try to win. So it's Mark Ingram, it's Alvin Kamara. That's why I don't have any interest in Brees. Kenyon Drake, a little interest, but not much. Deion Lewis, it depends. If Gillisley and White are active, I'll probably avoid it at 6,800, but do like him. Uh, Jordan Howard, Minnesota, you know, I told they got a little bit to play for, but not much. And so I do have a little bit of interest in Jordan Howard, but not much. Uh, Derrick Henry, um, we'll put him in the lineup for now. Uh, uh, DeMarco Murray is dealing with a MCL sprain in his knee. And so we are assuming he's going to be out. It's not guaranteed, but we are assuming he's going to be out. Then we have Jamal Williams against Detroit. Should see 25 carries, I guess. I I guess Detroit's going to try to win. That's the issue. But Green Bay does not have Aaron Jones. He's doubtful. Jordy's out. Adams is out. Geronimo Malalison and Richard Rodgers are doubtful or questionable. They're, they return to practice. They're like questionable. They're not doubtful. They're questionable. Well, let me get that right. They're questionable. So right now I'm putting Jamal Williams in my lineup at 5,200. Uh, he's a really nice salary relief. And then you have a bunch of guys down here that give you a little bit of salary relief in their own way. So we got Lamar Miller with DeAndre Hopkins, doubtful to play. I think they're just going to sit him out the season finale. So interest in Lamar Miller, but probably won't go there. Mixon, interest there, but probably won't go there as well. Samaj P. Ryan at 4,500. Seems to be my slight lean right now. Uh, but not entirely sure. I'm interested to see. I'm assuming Fitzgerald Toussaint will not get the start uh, for Le'Veon Bell. I mean, he hasn't rushed the ball at all. Uh, I'm assuming Steven Ridley will get the ball and get to run it, but I'm not a huge, I'm not super excited for that either. And so it kind of comes down to who do you want to play down here in the in the range. If Fournette sits, do you want to play TJ Yeldon? Um, he's not going to see many touches is the issue. It's probably going to be Ivor. It's just kind of hard down here. Uh, you got Malcolm Brown for the Rams, but I think Tavon Austin is going to get the carries is my problem. Um, I'm not really sure what we're going to do. Did he say, did McVay say who he's going to play? Uh, it does not look like McVay said who, assuming that's around the top. Well, huh, okay. They're not going to play Tavon Austin. Maybe it is Malcolm Brown week. I thought for sure they would play Austin, but I guess they're not going to. How much is Tavon Austin? He might be an interesting, he's minimum priced. Tavon Austin, uh, he hasn't. Uh, he saw 10 carries against Seattle. Other than that, nah, well, if he see, see, this is the, uh, this is the issue. This is the issue with the Rams. They could easily just give the ball to Tavon Austin. Hmm. Interesting, interesting development there. If we hear more whether or not Malcolm Brown should see the majority of carries, I mean, one attempt... 10, 1, 15, 11. Yeah. I guess we can go there. 3,900 needs about 9 points to get there. With no Gurley, I'd assume he's going to get there. But Sean Mannion is the quarterback. So that's that 
presents some minor issues. Uh, Buck Allen is 3,800, have a little bit of interest in there, but he, even though he's not the lead back anymore, he still sees carries. Uh, so I do have a little bit of interest with him all the way down here. If he can somehow find the end zone, he'd pay off that salary easy. Um, So who are we putting in this lineup? We're building the lineup here. I would like to put Brandon Oliver, but I don't really think I can. Mike Davis is interesting for Seattle. He's getting all the carries, but he's doing nothing with them. You know, we're going to put Malcolm Brown in. We're going to put Malcolm Brown in, and then we'll reevaluate it this weekend. So Malcolm Brown goes into the flex. So we got 5,700 left. Let's skip ahead real quick before we do wide receivers. Let's go to the defense. Let's talk about defenses. Jaguars, I'm not going there. Vikings, no. Steelers, no. It, I got to do guys that have some. Ravens have something to play for against a crappy Cincinnati team at 3,800. I have interest in them. Lions, I do really like the Lions D without anybody available. Uh, the Chargers have something to play for, but I'm not going to go there. Pats defense, I don't like playing the Pats defense. Seahawks against what's his face? Um, um, what's it? What's his name? I played him last week at 4,500. Oh, the guy for the Cardinals. You guys know who I'm talking about. I forget his name now. Now it's going to bug me. What's his name? It's late at night. I'm losing my thoughts. Where is it? Arizona. Arizona. We got a full slate, so this is really nice. Stupid Drew Stanton. There we go. Drew Stanton. Okay, so back to the defenses. So Seahawks, Saints against the Bucks. That's interesting. Mike Evans should get locked up, and then it's probably just GG from there from the Saints. Uh, Chiefs against the Broncos. The Chiefs, I believe, don't have to win. They're locked into their spot. Redskins, no. Texans, no. Bills, maybe, but probably not. Rams and Pants, no, like, no, 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 no. There's just a bunch of hard passes in here. So it's going to come down to the Bengals, not the Bengals, it's going to come down to the Ravens or the Seahawks. For now, I'll put in the Seahawks for salary purposes, and let's quickly do tight end. Uh, the most expensive guy is Kelsey at 7,100, then it's Gronk at 7K. The, Gronk is not that wildly overpriced he did miss practice today but he's not that wildly overpriced and he has some incentives laid in in but we know what happened with the patriots and randy moss for his incentive so i'm not entirely sure what i want to do with that um greg olson is 5600 he's an interesting play it really probably comes down to do we go back to the old man antonio gates well and see if he can repeat his monster performance from last week uh, do we look at Jack Doyle at 4,700 against the Houston Texans? He's probably safe for, you know, 9 or 10 points, but probably not too much of an upside. Jimmy Graham against the Cardinals um, has that touchdown upside, but it's really just can he catch a touchdown? He's really not going to catch anything else. Uh, Charles Clay against Miami interesting as well i think i'm gonna head back to the old man antonio gates well see if he can do it one more time for me so let's put in old man gates and see one last time so wide receiver pretty easy for me brown out hopkins doubtful julio jones and keenan allen are going in my lineups i love them a bunch this week two teams that have to win julio gets to face off against james bradbury which i'm not worried at all and keenan allen gets to face uh the raiders who are just not a very good secondary. Keenan Allen had a disappointing week last week. I think he turns it around this week, gets over 100 yards, maybe gets into the end zone. He had the 10 targets. It's not like his targets weren't there. Uh, and he has a relatively safe floor. Uh, Gates with a relatively safe, uh, not safe floor, but relatively high upside as well um, against the Oakland Raiders. So I'm going to go there. I think the Chargers come out and throw the ball. Try to They, they need to win this game. I think they come out, they throw the ball. Uh, it, it would be interesting to go Rivers if he was cheaper. Like if Rivers was 5,900 or 6K, I would probably go Rivers over over Wilson just for the correlation play because I'm playing so many Chargers. Um, but other guys that you can look at, Juju is 7,300. I like him. Um, Mike Evans is 7,200, but he should draw um, uh, Marcus Lattimore, so I don't really want to go there. Fitz, 6,900 and what possibly could be his final game. Um I don't know. I probably won't go there, though. I do like him. Marquise Goodwin uh, against the Rams. Uh, not going to go there, I don't think. Uh, Marvin Jones, interesting against the Packers, but he's a little high-priced for my liking. 
Uh, AJ Green at 6,300. Uh, he's a candidate probably to just sit out. Um, he's not been happy, so there's a chance he just sits out. Brandon Cook, 6,300. If Gronk somehow misses the game and um, Hogan sits out the game, Cooks becomes pretty interesting at 63. Uh, I do like Jarvis Landry at 6,200, about as safe as it comes. He had the 9.1 last week, which was, which really, if he doesn't lose the fumble, he gets into double digits. Um so I like him to bounce back this week against Buffalo. We probably won't go there. Uh, Stefan Diggs at 6K is interesting to me. Uh, but once again, probably won't go there. Same with T.Y. Hilton. Uh, we come down here, Josh Gordon. Uh, should draw Joe Hayden, who played pretty well against DeAndre Hopkins on Christmas. So I probably wouldn't go there. Lee is probably out again, so that brings D.D. Westbrook into the, into the fold again. But D.D. had a bad game. Um, yeah, just posted 11 points. I guess it's not a bad game, but it's not what you want. Uh, and then, let's see here. Demarius Thomas, if, uh, Emmanuel Sanders hits again. Keelan Cole is questionable at 5,700. Should be able to suit up and go back-to-back 100-yard -back games for Keelan Cole. Um, let's see. Then we've got, now we're into the range that I can afford, and it's kind of a little bit, it's a little bit clustered down here. Not a whole lot of good plays. Randall Cobb looks like the only player for Green Bay that's left. Um, so he becomes intriguing, but I don't think I go there. Because even he, if they got smoked by Minnesota, he caught some passes, but I don't think I go there. He should, I guess they would put, I don't know, Darius Slay probably doesn't travel into the slot with him, so probably not, but... Um, they probably can just double cover him, like, no one's there to beat him on the outside, so. And then, let's see, Richard Matthews down here is interesting at 4,100 against the Jags. I know it's the Jags, but Richard Matthews has had some pretty nice games. Um, as long as Mariota can throw the ball, it should be interesting, but you can create some extra room here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll create a little bit of extra money here. So come down off the Seahawks defense and come off off of Gates. So if we scroll down here, there are some cheaper guys that, while I don't love them, uh, I can I can play them. Um, so we got George Kittle down here, um, and we've got Austin Safarian Jenkins. Revenge game against New England. The last time they played was the is it the yeah week six when he got that touchdown taken away. Um, he hasn't been the same since then. He's definitely not been the same with Bryce Petty. But I do have some interest in him down there. Uh, Johnu Smith, a little bit of interest. Um, but th there's not a whole lot to save here at tight end. I guess the lowest I would go is Cameron Brait at 3,300. Didn't see an egregious amount of targets or increase from Jameis Winston at the Carolina game. And I doubt he probably sees it here in New Orleans. But he might with them locking up Mike Evans. Um, but probably the biggest money save is just to come down to Charles Clay, which then leaves you a defense. And the defense, really, there's not much down here that I that I like um, and that I think you can save money on. But the one defense that I do think you can save money on is Dallas. Um, they've been playing a lot better since... Uh, uh, in the last couple of weeks, and uh, even though they haven't scored a lot DFS-wise, um, they have played a lot better, and I think you can go there. Um, and that leaves you 6,500 at wide receiver. Allows you to come up into this range with a Robert Woods, Marvin Jones, Doug Baldwin. Um, I do like Doug Baldwin a lot this week. Um, the issue is, is he's still not. He's just still not seeing the volume that I like, but I do really like him, but we'll put in Jarvis Landry for the sake of the safety of a cash game, but guys, that's going to do it for the breakdown. I'll hit you guys back with another breakdown this weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, this is such a late upload. I thought I would have more time, but I didn't today, and so I'll catch you guys in my next episode. Peace out.